guys welcome to my channel okay so I just did my skincare but I do need to put on some sunscreen so I'm gonna do that real quick You guys like this shirt i got it from windsor like my favorite store to go to when i'm like going to the mall and i saw this and i guys i had to get it it's so freaking cute like the detail and the design kind of reminds me of like aztec like mayan kind of stuff but isn't this so freaking cute um you can kind of see like a uh, see-through a little bit here you guys are only gonna see like from here and up anyway so it doesn't really matter but like yeah i have some pretty sexy sweatpants going on Anyways, let's get to filming. So now that I let the sunscreen dry down a little bit, I'm going to fix it in with some setting powder because sunscreen tends to kind of accumulate in the creases here and to prevent that from happening, I'm going to put some setting powder over it. I'm gonna take this peachy shade right here and I'm gonna put this on the outer part of my under eye bags. For this part, I'm going to use a yellow color corrector. I'm also going to take some green and color correct the blemishes that I have here. If you're like me and you always forget to wet your beauty blender beforehand, um, what I like to do a little pro hack is that even though you wet it and you kind of squeeze out all the water, it tends to be a little bit more wet than I'd like. So I like to take a paper towel and kind of just squeeze all the water out of the beauty blender. I just squeeze really hard. And this kind of creates the beauty blender to be like the perfect amount of wetness. Is that how you say it? But yeah, so I like to do this a lot because I'll be honest, I always forget to wet my beauty blender beforehand. And I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes again with some powder. And I'm going to proceed to set the rest of my face with a pressed powder. Okay, you know what, never mind. I'm going to go back to my loose setting powder because I think I put a lot of sunscreen and it's kind of showing through still. So I'm going to go back to my loose setting powder and set my whole face. See, that's already a lot better. See, it's a lot more matte. And for this look, I kind of want to go all matte. I don't even know if I want to use some highlighter. Okay, now I'm completely matte. I mean, I love a glowy like base, but I also love a completely matte face. Like... Doesn't that look so good? It kind of like cancels out texture and everything. And I just love that about matte looks, but this is a matte look today. So before I get started on the eyes, I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna be using this darker shade right here. I'm gonna try to contour my nose and make it look a little bit more snatched than I usually do, hopefully. It's already uneven, isn't it? I'm also going to try to deepen my socket here.
The palette I'm going to be using today is Blowing Smoke by Colourpop and this is a very um, kind of intimidating palette, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to take this shade right here. Oh my god, there's a dog here. And I'm just going to kind of go all over my eyes. And to add a little bit more depth into my eyes, I'm going to take this shade right here. So now I'm going to take a smudge liner and I'm going to go around my eyes and I'm also going to create the wing with this. And of course in the name it's smudges so I'm going to smudge just my lash line. If you have trouble with wing eyeliner looking good on you, I think a good rule would be to look forward and then to kind of follow your bottom lash line and just follow this line and go up. So I'm going to create the wing. Didn't really like the blown out, smoked out lower lash line kind of look so I kind of cleaned it up and I'm going to take actually a little bit more of the light gray color and I'm going to bring it up a little bit more. I'm going to extend it slightly past beyond my crease. Now I'm going to take this dark shimmer shade and I'm just going to apply it on the top lash line here. Now I'm gonna put some mascara and some falsies and I'll be back. Um, okay, I kind of changed my mind about the falsies. I didn't put any on. And for the blush, I'm going to be kind of mixing my bronzer and my blush together. And I'm gonna kind of go around the perimeter. And I'm kind of just gonna go around the perimeter. I'm gonna take this lip liner in the shade vintage and it's kind of like vampy color and I'm just going to kind of use this to overline Okay, so I know my lips are looking a little crusty, but I wanted to show you guys this lipstick and I'm going to use this lipstick today. It's really nice, really expensive, I'm not going to lie. And for lipsticks, I usually don't really see uh, buying more expensive ones because I find that the most affordable lipsticks work really, really well. So if I do buy something that's more on the higher end side, it's typically for color. And guys, this color is stunning. So this is the YSL Slim Matte Lipstick. This is in the color 30, and I think it's called Nude Protest, which on the pictures, by the way, looks nothing like the way it looks in real life. Like, it's not nude at all. It's actually a really pretty, like, blood red color. But yeah, isn't that such a pretty color? Usually with darker lipsticks, it's easier at concealing, like, you know, crusty lips, whereas when you go lighter, it's a little bit harder. And then I'm going to just take a brush and just feather out the edges. Okay, I changed my mind. I kind of want to use lashes. Hmm. Hmm. Never mind. Actually, I think I will put a little bit of highlight just on my nose. Okay, I think that's the finished look. 